In a draft featuring talents such as Steve Iserman, Cam Neely, and Pat LaFontaine, Brian Lawton became the first American player ever taken first overall when he was drafted by the Minnesota North Stars. While he wasn't the gifted forward everyone expected, the native of New Brunswick, New Jersey played 483 games between seven NHL teams and produced 266 points. Not a terribly bad stat line. But when compared to the likes of Iserman, Neely, and LaFontaine, well, he isn't even close to their weight class. Pavel Brendel totaled 320 points over three seasons with the Calgary Hitmen, so it's no surprise he went fourth to the New York Rangers in 1999. He ended up becoming the integral piece in the trade which brought Eric Lindros to the Big Apple. But after 13 points in 50 games with Philadelphia, Brendel was sent to the Carolina Hurricanes where he didn't fare much better. I'll cut to the chase. Between the WHL, AHL, NHL and European leagues, Brendel has played for 23 different teams since 1998. Needless to say, he's been a journeyman from the get-go. Mike Milbury was so confident in Rick DiPietro that he traded the goaltender he drafted three years prior. This was DiPietro's team, and he was going to lead the Islanders back to the glory days of the 80s. Unfortunately, it just wasn't meant to be. DiPietro suffered injury after injury after injury. He was able to put together a few solid seasons, which earned him that much maligned 15-year contract in 2006. But those were the best days for the Islanders' netminder. He played just 54 games since the 2008 and 2009 season and was bought out by the Islanders in the summer of 2013. The Atlanta Thrashers were awarded the first overall pick before their inaugural season, and they used it to take Patrick Steffen. Nagging injuries would plague the native of the Czech Republic as he played over 72 games just once in seven NHL seasons. In terms of point totals, let's just say there are two other players who had more points in one season than he did in his entire career. You could say Stefan is best known for his involvement in one goal, and it's not in a good way. Stefan steals and he'll ice it. Oh, at least I thought he was gonna, until he blew it. That's unbelievable. And Hemsky's loose. Hemsky, he scores! Patrick Stefan, you should be embarrassed for what you just did. Much was expected of Alexander Daig when he was drafted by the Ottawa Senators in 1993. He was dominant in the QMJHL and people were anticipating many fruitful seasons, especially after recording 51 points in his rookie campaign. However, that's as good as it got for Daig. The Montreal native never amassed more than 51 points in a season. He recorded 20 or more goals just three times and get this, his overall plus minus in the NHL is a minus 176. After the Sens, five more teams would give Daig a shot to resurrect his NHL career, but to no avail.